830 on this Tuesday morning, just seven more days until Election Day, and there's no better time to get to know the people behind the political headlines in our local races. Right now, we're joined by Senator Mark Grisanti, and Senator Grisanti represents the 60th District, which has been redrawn in this election and now includes parts of the city of Buffalo, Grand Island, Kenmore, Tonawanda, city of Tonawanda, Hamburg, Evans, Brandt, Derby, Angola, and the town of Orchard Park. That is certainly a mouthful. How do you know all these people? You just represent them and go out and see well, them. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on. No but uh, it's about 275,000 people, wow. and basically, you know, you get out to every single event possible, uh, walk door to door, phone calls, everything you possibly can, tell a town hall meetings. It's tell me how the, the <laughs> redrawn district lines have kind of affected your campaign. You know, it really hasn't affected it all that much other than uh, Niagara Falls I used to have, but now that uh, uh, Niagara Falls with the loss of population, Niagara Falls stayed in Niagara County with Senator George Maziers, so then I went south. But, you know, for me, it's not about lines, it's about being a representative for Western New York. Sure. Uh, with the Western New York delegation, that's what's important. Now, this area is no straight, you're not any stranger to this area. You're from Buffalo, born right. and raised. Tell me how that's affected you as, as a senator. You know, um, third generation attorney, and uh, we have we have uh, uh, known a lot of people. Uh, our family uh, married to a wonderful lady, Maria, my wife Maria, uh, three kids. So you just know a lot of people, and uh, wherever you go, people appreciate what you're doing, and they, they appreciate it. And they're, we're taking a look there. at your family. Who is, who's everyone in this picture? We know uh, your Teresa's wife. Teresa's in the black dress. Okay. Uh, my wife Maria, uh, myself. Then there's Ashley, uh, and then there's Johnny. And tell me what your family means to you. How important are they in this campaign? It's, it's you know, it's the number one thing, and uh, and my wife's by my right arm. She uh, uh, is a driving force, and it's important uh, to have their support. They've been very helpful in this campaign. And I know you have a really good best friend that uh, is very familiar to you winging it, uh, Chef Marco. Oh yeah, yeah <laughs> Chef Marco. Yeah, such a good He's friend. Got great right? food. Yeah, exactly. He's got great food. And the only two people who are missing in that picture are my two dogs, Fredo Abijan and. Uh, Cody, a skipper key. A dog person rather than a cat person. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Tell me what the most important is, it, most important issue is to you uh, running this time around. You know, this issue is not about uh, uh, Republican versus Democrat. This issue is about Western New York keeping the seat from downstate. If this seat gets lost, we're going to go back to 2009, 2010, where you hit all that dysfunction. I don't want to go back to 2009, 2010. I want to move forward. Sure. Senator Grisanti, thank you so much for joining us My this morning. My pleasure. Thank you. To stay up to date with our local, state, and national races, be sure to stay with the On Politics page of WIVB.com. There you'll find all of our Winging It With the Candidates videos. And for more about what's happening online, here's our producer. Well, she's not our producer of the web, but our producer of Winging It Buffalo Style, filling in for Emily Lenahan, who's got kind of a sore throat this morning, right, Laura? <laughs> yeah.